Hello friends, uh, this is size 10 sedge hook and the bead is 3.2 block tungsten and the thread I'm going to be using is white and if you just start behind the bead I will explain all the materials. Keep going and then come back. Just work with the body as usual. Basically, in the middle, we need a little bit nice and fat. And come back now. Um, just for the body, as usual, I'll be using this is a clear stretch. One, mit one millimeter thick. So I'm just going to cut this. And if we can melt one side and then kind of pinch it and stretch it that will create a nice catching point so I'm just going to catch that here and go towards the bend take your time Keep going all the way. That should be okay. I'm going to take this off. That's okay. Now I'm going to make a transparent body, and this is a male art tin, so it's a large size. You can buy this on any tackle material shop and cut this in angle like this so we can catch this easily so catch this I'm adding this you know holographic day basically as we coming towards the cold weather and we need something bright and flashy and these patterns work really well when the rivers are high in a winter both for grayling and brown trout I'm just gonna stay away from the bead at the moment and work with this nice make a nice and smooth body very simple to tie now I'm gonna come back again towards this and then bring the holographic first just to give a nice stretch not too much and keep coming up basically catch that here and just take this piece off and just uh, bring this elastic even if we go on the hook once no sorry that's wrong take your time again like you usually do we need to work with the body so just take your time because there can be kind of slippery you know as you're coming up loosen up your tension as you can see the body is looking nice now put more tension here and just making sure it's okay now you can see a little gap just about 
here, but that will go once I secure this properly. And cut this off very close. Now, as you can see, I'm going to push this back with thread, keep going towards that side. As you can see, the gap is finished. And then finish off with this thread now because we need a black thread to finish off this. Okay, black thread, and you can use eight o or six o if you if you tie in a larger fly. So cut this off. Add some marks. That's okay. I'm gonna add some legs this is a dyed brown partridge feather because the, some of the feather you can find in the park if you buy in a park they're more darker the much better color for the legs you know so if you can catch this here take your time again Just making sure that both sides has got equally balanced feather. So if you just catch this here, let's take your time again. Make sure if you're not happy, you always come back again. <coughs> and I'm going to cut these off. simple actually you know you need a little bit practice more wax and I'm gonna add some black dubbing this is a black dyed haze here you can find some softer one just around the cheeks or sides Actually, take your time nice and relax, you know, Let's make a nice fly and finishing off as usual. Using some varnish on the thread. Couple of turn and we finish. Gonna put some block on this. <coughs> so there you have one of my favorite transparent holographic Calis larvae. Great pattern as we come in towards cold weather. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.